Hello everyone, I hope you can hear me properly. Uh, we've got to our beautiful weather today. I hope you, you, you will enjoy it, um, especially that the weekend is approaching. So fingers crossed. Uh, we will wait um, perhaps two minutes uh, for uh, people. We will see whether uh, someone will join us. Uh, we've got the first people attending, I see. So if you don't mind, uh, wait another two, two minutes. We can start, or, or perhaps uh, uh, less, because other people they they could uh, catch up if needed, uh, as the recording gonna be available on our social media. It's quite hot today, I must admit. It's not the best weather to to stay indoors. Mm. Anyway, um, I would like to say just a few words about myself um, and uh, just to give you a better understanding of who, who am I and what I do on the, the daily basis at CTS. Uh, so my name is uh, Michał Puzzyński and I am uh, BAME a Community Engagement Officer where we run a project called uh, Somerset Diverse Communities. Uh, and Somerset Diverse Communities has supported over 40 black, Asian and minority ethnic communities across um, Somerset over two past years uh, with funding and advice, more or less, uh, among others. Um, and with our encouragement and support, these groups are developing at a faster uh, pace uh, and, um, and achieving their own identity and goals. Informal groups uh, are building structures, gain new skills and undertake new challenges. Um, we also help to create a more empowered, visible and vocal BAME community. BAME, I, I mean Black, uh, Asian and minority ethnic. So please let me to use this term today in order to describe, uh, to use that shortcut in order to describe uh, the, the, that, those communities. Um, we also help to build relationship with uh, and between BAME communities uh, in Somerset. Uh, so uh, how we um, how we pro provide support uh, by a differ different uh, sources. Um, basically, we um, we pr promote available opportunities and let people know about about it. Um, the, the the groups that we cooperate are informal and formal. Uh, by formal, I mean uh, there are charities or associations, and that some of them they are more professional than others. And also, we support informal groups like a bunch of friends who perhaps have got a uh, common uh, interest. Uh, perhaps they are um, the they origin, um, they, they are from the same country, they speak the same language, and they would like to cultivate their tradition and culture that they know, and they would like to um, integrate uh, and promote it with the local community and but uh, the concept of the um, organizations it's unknown for them they are not sure what's the first step to take how to approach the matter so there we are and we, and we offer our support support um, we also uh, have a small grant funds and those funds are designed for especially those groups who perhaps never had had uh, a chance to apply for anything they are not sure how to write an application and this one is quite straightforward the whole idea behind the small grant fund is to um, encourage those groups who perhaps never applied for anything and uh, just to make uh, take a first step and um, build the self-confidence um, and now our, our role is to monitor the uh, results and uh, support them to achieve their goals, whether they would like to organize a workshop or training or a um, multicultural event, whatever it is, uh, we are happy to talk to you uh, and to those groups uh, if needed. Um, so. And the, the, the other thing is that we promote uh, other available funds like um, this day's Somerset Community Foundation. Um, it's got a range of different grants. Um, obviously, they are designed for different reasons, but if they are particular 
um, if there's any particular grant related to BAME communities, we encourage them. We 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 make sure that um, first of all those groups are aware about uh, this grant, and uh, um, and we hope um, and we provide our support in applying for this grant if needed, obviously, because of as I mentioned, uh, the, some of the the groups are quite well experienced and the other are not. Uh, so um, uh, we 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 offer our help if needed. Um, we also help them to, to formalize themselves and build the internal structures. Uh, so we are talking about those informal groups if they would like to take another step and be more formal in order to um, look more serious, if you like, or um, uh, have that legal side um, covered, uh, then we, we provide um, the, the guidance of what's the difference between uh, association, charity or uh, other uh, bodies and uh, what they need to um, consider uh, organizing um, the, the community. Um, we promote, it, as I mentioned, we, we, we do promote available resources, so not only about the funds, but also about the training. So if there's any particular training uh, that uh, the BAME community could uh, undertake, uh, we uh, make sure that the message is there and the uh, people are aware of it uh, and they, they if they would like to, they take the advantage of it and um, um, gain new skills and experience. Uh, so uh, apart from that, uh, we organize uh, ESOL classes, so it's English as an additional language. Um, um, we don't teach directly, what we do is to uh, organize the, um, the whole course, and monitor the course, uh, but we activate the individuals uh, within BAME communities with teaching experience um, and um, we, by doing that, um, there's win-win because of the, the tutor gains uh, additional skills and experience uh, in the UK, but also those communities uh, ha have got um, a chance to, um, uh, to, to, to learn English. Um, and so it's usually it's free of charge as the, the grant covers the costs and it's very well popular, it's very popular, uh, I must say, there's always um, more people that um, places, uh, so it's, it's a sign for us how huge the demand is uh, in Somerset. And you would be surprised uh, how Somerset is diverse, uh, although perhaps uh, in terms of um, uh, diversity, we are under the um, national rate, we, we, we are still very diverse. And uh, you could see that um, uh, by attending one of our um, events like Totem Together, where last year um, over 380 people attended from over uh, 30 different countries, where you could try uh, food uh, from around the world, listen to the artists, uh, where they were providing uh, an entertainment and workshops for children and adults and uh, there were lots of stalls, I think about 16 different stalls that you could approach and uh, have, have a, a short chat about the culture and tradition of different countries and, and people from those countries who decided to, to live and uh, work in Somerset. Um, so. We are aware that if you are going to if, if, if you are going to live abroad, if you decided to, to take that step, uh, you face uh, huge challenges. It's not about only about the, the language. Uh, it's also about that uh, cultural uh, differences. And there's a cultural shock when you are new in, new in the country. At the beginning, everything looks perfect. You are uh, very enthusiastic about people, architecture, landscape, language, and all the stuff that are different to those uh, things that you already know. But with the time, basically, that um, novel uh, basically causes uh, additional stress uh, because you need to overcope with it. You need to um, face it. Uh, you need to undertake so many, much um, uh, new information. Uh, and uh, sometimes 
that uh, that cause the conflicts. Uh, so we are there also to explain the differences, to make sure that they un they understand and uh, the the system uh, in the UK. Because quite often, what they do, those communities who are go um, living here, they 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 reflect the system that they already know from their own own countries, and they assume that it's the same way uh, here, the same way how um, uh, English people operate, the, the uh, British uh, system operates, but it's not, not all, always the case. Um, so we need to, uh, that. so our role is to educate the groups as well if possible, or support those groups in uh, educating uh, their communities. Um, so um, I've mentioned that uh, we organize a different training, so like uh, English classes or um, uh, uh, other other trainings related to um, em employment, uh, but also uh, we organize um, uh, multicultural events. And I've mentioned uh, about Totem Together, but obviously uh, Somerset Diverse Communities uh, has been forced um, to postpone uh, our um, upcoming projects uh, and uh, social initiatives due to um, the COVID-19 uh, pandemic. Um, however, uh, we didn't um, give up uh, and have adapted uh, to the current situation. Um, the internet, uh, we are lucky to live uh, in, in times where we have the internet, which uh, provides us with the unique opportunities um, in, in to continue our work and therefore we, we were able to co-organize uh, in just in two past uh, months we we co-organized uh, four different digital multicultural events you could hear about them because of um, the, the, the local radio the local newspaper and even um, ITV um, were promoting our events and they were quite popular and we had a great feedback and I'm talking about Bridgewater together, uh, why I made Bridgewater my home when all this is over. And that was the topic related to COVID-19 where people could uh, share their concerns and challenges related to the world after the pandemic and how to rebuild the community, how to adjust once again uh, to the new challenges um, that uh, all of us know that the recession may appear and um, how to prepare ourselves for that. But also not only from the economic side, Side, uh, but uh, especially from the psychological side, because of COVID nineteen has a, a huge impact on our um, uh, on our mind. Uh, so. And we discovered that um, these days the mental health it's number number one I would say uh, challenge uh, number one the, the challenge number one that we've uh, faced not not only the main communities you know we are isolated we uh, we had to find ourselves in new situations and uh, face new challenges um, so. And that's the, the, the thing. And um, uh, when, when I was talking about the uh, digital events, like multicultural events, uh, just a few weeks, two weeks ago, on 13th of June, um, the summer set together took place um, where uh, following on, on uh, from the success of the Bridgewater Together online multicultural events in April and May, uh, Somerset Together brought in contributions from um, diverse communities living in Totem, Bridgewater, uh, Froome, and Yeovil, and all the areas in between. Uh, I do encourage you uh, to um, find a Community Council for Somerset. YouTube channel, uh, you will find uh, um, uh, you will find uh, the, um, in the recent video, uh, so you could catch up with the event, uh, and then um, I will I will pass the link on chat. Uh, give me a second. Can uh, can can you hear me? Could you just confirm that you you hear me? That's uh, on, on chat, I would be grateful if you could just say that you can hear me because I see uh, that someone is trying to reach me on my mobile and I, I hope it's not none of you who's trying to tell me that my mic is uh, muted. Um, so, um, yes, okay, thank you for that. Uh, you can hear me so I can carry on then. Um, 
So uh, when we are talking about BAME communities, we would need to uh, distinguish uh, between, uh, what, but basically to explain what, what, what we are talking about. I, I know that I've mentioned that uh, I'm talking about Black, Asian and minority ethnics, but also some people, um, they don't uh, understand the difference between asylum seeker, refugee or migrant. What's the difference? So more or less, um, basically a migrant is a person who has a right to to move to other country and undertake the employment. And it's up to that person whether they are going to go to another country or not. And usually it's based on their economic um, reasons or perhaps if they want to uh, learn a new language or they're new, looking for a new adventure, whatever, whatever it is. Uh, the refugee, uh, usually it's a person uh, who uh, couldn't stay in their own country, in their homeland, uh, due to the uh, danger, um, uh, whether it's a hunger or whether there's a, a war, a conflict, a military conflict. And the organizations, um, charity organizations and international organizations are involved and they um, organize the, 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 pro the whole process of, of movement of those people in order to make sure that they are safe uh, and they can and they are not in the danger anymore and not not always the people want to do that so it's not basically uh, always they they chose it's something that um then they were forced to do in order to protect their, their families and their future and um, so with the uh, asylum seeker and uh, that there's a slight difference uh, asylum seeker it's a person who uh, left the, the country and is trying to, and and um, got to the new country uh, and quite often illegally. Uh, so there was no organization involved in the process of uh, the, the, the movement of this person. And um, then once that person um, uh, gets to, to, to new country, uh, that person applies to the government uh, for asylum due to the danger, and they then they provide the arguments whether they, why they can't stay, why they can't come back to their own country um, because of um, the, the beliefs, uh, faith, or um, se um, sexual orientation, or political uh, conflicts, whatever it is. Uh, quite often they are afraid of coming back because of um, uh, they have, but uh, um, for some reasons, um, the, 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 the international uh, organizations are not involved on this stage, or perhaps uh, haven't focused on them, and uh, that's why they haven't been implemented in that process where uh, refugees are, uh, and they decide to uh, do that on their own to get to to the new country and find a better place to live. That's the difference, and um, obviously that's up to the uh, new government to decide uh, what's the circumstances, whether that person is in real need or whether and, and, and can stay in this country or whether uh, they are uh, sending the person back. Uh, so, and uh, we've got um, uh, different people in, in Somerset from different reasons. Uh, so there's uh, lots of migrants and uh, as you probably already know, one of the most significant number of uh, BAME communities are um, Poles, um, Lithuanians, uh, Portuguese, uh, but there's a huge uh, community from uh, Asia as well, like um, uh, Bangladeshi, there's a Bangladeshi Association, PINAS, the Filipinos Association, Chinese Association. So there are different people and they came here here for for uh, for different uh, reasons and we also have uh, refugees um, families who came from Syria um, due to the conflict uh, existing conflict in Syria and they were forced to uh, leave their country and find a new home uh, and, and they learn everything everything uh, it's new for them they, 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 the cultural shock for uh, them it's even uh, bigger uh, because of there's a trauma behind um, uh, behind the whole story of the movement and uh, also quite often um, you know there's a, a difference if you if you are a Pole a Polish person that uh, decided to come to the UK where more more or less um, that the root of the culture it's very similar and uh, the, the differences they are not very visible uh, they, they, they are slight differences of course but there's not a huge gap uh, but if you 
uh, have a different belief system, uh, different uh, habits, commons, and uh, sometimes you, you may feel lost. And our role is to make sure that um, they feel quite welcome here and they can develop and achieve their goals uh, in, in a safe environment, more or less. Um, thanks to Hinkley Point C, uh, community fund, we also have been able to organize um, a welcome events at the Hinkley, at Hinkley Point C site uh, where we spoke to people, um, to, to the workers providing a specific information um, on a wide range of topics including tourism, recreation, uh, digital, uh, uh, digital support and linking uh, to local groups uh, because as you know there's a huge um, uh, community um, of workers that they are um, came they, they came here from abroad and uh, Sedgemoor or Somerset in general England it's it's a new um, a new place for them uh, so in order to make sure that um, they they don't uh, struggle with the new reality we offer them uh, the information uh, and they could take the advantage if they uh, would like. Uh, we also organized community events for Hinkley Point workers and um, uh, one of them was held at YMCA in Bridge of Water uh, last year uh, where 19 people from different countries like uh, Ivory Coast, Poland, Slovakia, Spain, France um, uh, and, and other countries attended and canoed on the canal and um, it was a, a great to, to observe and see how uh, they enjoyed the day and although some of them have lived here for a number of years they haven't been aware that they can spend um, time in a fun way in Bridgewater uh, so and it was also good to see when in the end of the day uh, people were exchanging their contact details between them because of, it turned out that they not only spent uh, a great time but uh, um, first of all they found uh, they found new friends uh, and it's all about and so it's uh, then then we feel that our efforts um, uh, our efforts was, was worth to uh, to spend time in in organizing events like that and we, obviously we intend to repeat similar events um, to promote integration uh, and encourage not only Hinkley Point workers but but also local community to use the cultural and recre uh, recreational uh, infrastructure in the local area. Um, now I'll just have a look at what time is it? Okay, uh, so now I would like to talk about uh, our uh, new project. Uh, it's called Somerset Language Connect. I do believe that some of you um, have had a chance to see our posters on social media. Uh, so Somerset Language Connect is a new project um, aimed at bringing uh, together learners from minority ethnics, uh, ethnic communities across Somerset who would like to improve their uh, English uh, with learning partners uh, who aim to support them uh, and they are usually native speakers. Uh, the scheme is completely, completely free of charge uh, and it's supported by uh, the Somerset Coronavirus Response and Recovery Fund. Uh, and uh, we've just finished our uh, pilot session, uh, I think two weeks back, and we uh, got a great feedback from, from people and they were very enthusiastic uh, and grateful that they were connected and match with native speaker uh, because of, as I've mentioned, although some of them have lived here for a number of years, uh, they, they, they've never had the chance to have a closer friend uh, from the British community. They perhaps may have some colleagues at the work workplace and uh, say hello to them but there is no uh, closer relation while this project uh, provides not only um, teach them um, a new skills but also provides an opportunity to feel relaxed and talk to the British person or native speaker um, and be um, encouraged to make uh, progress which is really good and we've had stories that some of them decided already to meet up for a coffee in the future uh, and um, uh, not only in order to learn uh, English but just spend time together which is really nice um, so if you would like to find out a little bit more please contact us uh, on um, uh, I hope um, uh, the contact details will appear on chat in a second 
Uh, and uh, I'm just conscious of the time, so I'm trying to speed up uh, because I would like to mention uh, also about our new project, um, the assistance with homeschooling. Um, um, as you probably already know, the COVID-19 um, basically put us in a, in a new situation where uh, children were forced to learn at home using the internet. And uh, um, if you, you can imagine, if you if there's a language barrier, and that the, the child approached the, the the parents uh, with the request for, of support, and then the, if the parent doesn't speak uh, good English, if they are not confident enough, and uh, they, they it may cause additional unnecessary stress at home and have an impact on the grades of the child. Uh, what we, we would like to avoid, so we've been able to activate uh, four different individuals within the community. Uh, so we are talking about Polish. Uh, two people from from Polish community in different areas in Somerset, one Italian lady and one Portuguese uh, tutor. And there are, there are great contact points uh, for those families uh, from the, uh, those communities who perhaps struggle with the uh, homeschooling. And if they want to clarify uh, the, the homework, they can always give them a ring and uh, ask for the clarification. Uh, just to underline, they don't uh, do the homework uh, on behalf of children. They just clarify what the, uh, the school expects from them. Uh, and it's free of charge as well. So if you have no families, or pr please promote and share it widely and far. Uh, soon uh, the poster will, posters will appear on our social media. Uh, also, we are in the process of uh, organizing a webinar. Um, so we would like to organize a webinar about employment development, job markets, qualification and self-confidence, as we do believe that quite often Bain communities, they are missing this point and due to the language barrier and the cultural differences, they are not sure how to develop their skills. Um, so uh, we would like to organize a webinar where we would uh, invite a specialist from job center or recruitment uh, advisors who would share their knowledge with us and, and, and inspire uh, BAME communities in order to develop their employment, employment path. Uh, okay, it's uh, three minutes to half past 11. So if please follow us on Facebook if you don't do that yet. Um, so Somerset Diverse Communities, you will find all of the um, uh, initiatives that we are going to uh, implement soon or organize. Uh, you can contact us using the messenger or please uh, check our website, uh, Community Council for Somerset website in order to find us. Uh, there's a category Somerset Diverse Communities and you will find our um, my telephone number or Jasna, Jasna is my colleague who covers Mendip and South Somerset era. Um, and uh, if you have any questions, uh, I'm happy to uh, to answer, answer because I do believe just two minutes left. Have you got any questions? No, I don't see any questions. And so once again, uh, especially for those who perhaps are not with us at the moment and they will catch up with the recording uh, in a few hours or, or later, um, please feel, do not hesitate to, to contact us um, uh, using our telephone mobile numbers uh, or uh, in, by, by email and we are happy to, to come back to you and uh, explain everything. And also if you have any ideas, but you are not sure whether it makes sense or not, once again, um, just contact us. We are happy to talk about it. Perhaps there's a way to adapt your idea. Um, okay, then. Um, so, in this case, I would like to thank you for uh, attending the, uh, the live, the Talking Cafe live with me. I hope you enjoyed. I know that there was there was a lot of information, so uh, it, it's, it is quite tricky to say about everything in half an hour, uh, in detail especially. Um, so I also um, uh, recommend to find us on YouTube 
Community Council for Somerset YouTube channel, you will uh, find uh, the videos from our recent events and the events uh, that were organized in, in previous years. Uh, and so uh, if you would like to uh, be connected with some particular group or perhaps be a volunteer, uh, learn English or teach uh, English, or perhaps you struggle with homeschooling, whatever it is, and it's related to BAME communities, please do not hesitate to uh, give us a shout and uh, we are there for you. Thank you. Take care, guys. Uh, have, a, have a lovely day.